today we are going to discuss about a topic called method overloading yes class demo ma first i'll create one method public void show this is one method in which i'll have no parameter i'll have one more method which will have same name and it will have one parameter now method overloading means two or more method having same name two or more methods having what same same name but differ at count type and kind of parameter differ at count type and kind in these three it makes a difference then it is called method overloading now in our example this is show method this is also show method both methods are having same name here we don't have any parameter so zero zero parameter here we have one parameter here zero here one so count is different count count is different it is overloaded method second if i write here double i same again here method name is show here method name is show so both methods have same same name here one parameter here also one parameter so count is also same name same count same but types are different here double here integer confirm this is overloaded method overloaded method okay now do one thing integer but this will be ref now if you notice method names are same count same type same but kind different kind this is required parameter this is reference parameter kind kind of parameters is different confirm this is overloaded method what are same here method name same count same type same but kind is different i said na any one should be different any one any one of what count different type different kind different any one should be different then only it is called overloaded method if you write here like this now name same count the same type the same kind the same name same count same type same kind the same all are same yes you see it's error it looks like it's a duplicate method it is a duplicate duplicate method you cannot have any one compulsory should be different then only you can consider it as overloaded method if even one makes a difference then it is not overloaded method
So here int now replaces with Julia. Yes, types are different. Types are different. Confirm. This is overloaded method. Sometimes what they'll do, the last like this, integer j. They say parameter name set. I didn't say parameter name different for overloaded method. Already it's a name same, count same, type same, kind same, over. Error. Way parameter name same or different doesn't matter. It's error. That's it. Sometimes they'll say. Sometimes they'll say. Return types are different. That is void. This is int. Whatever it is. I didn't say return type will make a difference in uh, uh, what? Uh, this one, overloading. No. No, it doesn't come under overloading. Sometimes they'll say that access modifiers are different. That is public and this is private. No, even this is not overloading. No, access modifiers different, doesn't come under overloading. Sometimes they'll say weight of a method different. Weight, weight. Wait in the sense, number of lines of code. So first method has 10 lines, second method has 20 lines of code. No, that is also not overloaded method. So in all the cases, in all these cases, method is not overloaded. Which three? Names, parameter names different. Does not come under method overloading. Return types different. Does not come under method overloading. Access modifier different, does not come under method overloading. Even if weight of a method is different, I mean, number of lines of code differs, even that doesn't come under method overloading. Simple over, that's it. That's what the point is. All should, a method name should be same, difference should be in those three points only. Then only it is called method overloading. Okay, sometimes the question is asked like this. This technical point actually. I'll create, uh, I'll change this actually. Double, yeah, now it is overloaded. Error is gone. Demo D, new demo. D dot show 12. D dot show 9.2. Yes. First method will go to integer parameter. And second method will go to true error. Why error? Because you don't have method. You don't have any method of Boolean parameter. That's the reason it is error. If I write one more method with the Boolean parameter, fine. That, that works. You want to see? All right. Public. Valid. Yes. Three methods. And in all these three methods, All three parameters, each of each method has one parameter, and types of all the three parameters are different. Let us talk on technical thing. No question is asked. Int i byte j byte i int j.
I write integer n equal to 10 by p equals to 15. T dot show n comma p. So it will go to which method now? Obviously, that method which is found to be having same, same, uh, what do you call, type. In your example, n is integer, p is byte. So obviously, it will go to first method. It will go to first method which is containing integer and byte parameter. If at all I say again, r equal, sorry. Now, what is the sequence of parameters? First byte, then int. First byte, then int. Second one. Hmm. So it second, method. second method. First will go to first method, second will go to second method. Now they ask a query. Now, now they say d dot show. P comma R which error. Why this error has occurred is the question. There was any technical point in method overloading. This is one technical query. Why? Why this error has occurred? So usually. P is byte parameter. R is also byte parameter. So we generally feel that because we don't have a method of two bytes, might be for that reason we are getting error. We feel so. Byte comma byte, we don't have a method of two bytes. We don't have a method of what two bytes for that reason it is giving error okay but actually error is not coming because that you don't have a method with two byte parameter. It's not for that reason you're not getting error. The reason for getting error is you have to recollect the typecasting class. Typecasting, typecasting class. Integer can store byte type data. Implicit casting. Integer can store byte byte type data. What do you call implicit casting? And R will point to this byte. So it means this method can communicate with this method. Plus, if you look into this method again, P byte, yes, it matches with this byte. R byte. It matches with this int because int can store byte. Now it looks like now that this line can communicate with both 
method that creates an confusion for compiler to link with which method either first or second error is coming because of now you can see ambiguous call compiler is confused And you can see, error is not coming because that you don't have method with two byte parameters. Error is coming because compiler is unable to link to any of those methods. It is confused either to link with first or second. There it leaves you error. No, they don't no they won't leave you just by saying this no they'll ask you how do you resolve this error how do you label for your coding so as Srinivas already said that like it should go with typecasting obviously it should go with explicit typecasting before P, I put in over. Now it links with first method. It links with first method, I say. Now it goes with first method int byte one technical point on mm. so you remember optional parameter connecting with optional parameter this is a topic and we learn one important point on uh, what do you call uh, Mm, method overload. What is it? Here I write public void show integer i j. 90 console dot right line i concatenate j yes which means now i can call that method in two ways i can call that method with what with what two ways two ways single parameter two parameter you want to test go for it 18, no, sorry, 10, I10, J19, control F5. I10, J19. Once again, hundred, two hundred.
100 and 200. Now, if I run my code, now, now, if I run my code, 19 will be overwritten by 200. Now, now the question is asked, what if I have public void show integer i console dot right line one parameter plus i. Now, interesting thing is, if this comes under method overloading or not, obviously, it is overloaded method, no doubt at all. Why? Because method name same, count is different. Count is different. No doubt it is overloaded method. But now question is d dot show of 10. Where does it go? Does it go to first method or does it go to second method? Does it go to first method or does it go to second method? In C sharp, Microsoft has an approach for it, and in C sharp, there is an output for it. In other OOPS languages, this will be compile time error. In other OOPS languages, C sharp, mein, there is an output effect. It's valid for C sharp, but other languages, it is error. It is it, it gives error. Error as what? Same ambiguous call. Ambiguous call. But here it is valid, I'm saying. In other OOPs languages, I said, please understand. Here it is valid. And why it is valid? Because here, here, priority is given to count. D dot show of 10, one parameter. It will go to that method, which is having one parameter. If that one parameter method is not available, then it would it would have gone to the parameter which is optional. But now Microsoft has given priority to count in method overloading. Count execute now. Yes. 10 will come from one parameter and Second will go to two parameters. Yes. That is how the method overloading works. Right. Now we'll go to last scenario of method overloading. Now. one method i have of one parameter i have another method
with four parameters. Three parameters. One method is having one parameter, one method is having four parameters, one is having two parameters, one is having three parameters. And all are errors as of now. All. All are errors. No one is working for us. So it means what now to resolve this error, how many methods have how many method bodies you should create in class demo? How many method bodies? Obviously four. Four, four. Four methods. One you should write with one parameter, one you should write with four parameters, one with two, one with three. Four method. No alternate. You have to write. There is no alternate. Public void show int i. I won't write code. Yes. Again. Public void show int i int j int k. Three parameters. Like that, I should write one more method with two parameters. I should write one more method with four parameters. Then all those errors will go. Now, my point is, instead of writing four methods and making your code go lengthy, Code go what? Lengthy, lengthy. We have a shortcut. We have a shortcut. Now we need to know what is that shortcut. How do you deal with that? So we'll write one method. Right. Public void show in x yes this will work only for one parameter this will work for what only one one parameter but interesting thing is all parameters whatever the different count we have they are of integer type only they are of integer type. So why don't we manage this with array? Because array can store one more, more values. Array also will go with similar type data. Array also goes with what? Similar, similar type data. But it is not accepting. Rather, it has given all four methods, it says it's a error. Now, to make this array valid, to make this array array valid, now I say here a keyword called param. But gone. All errors are gone at a time. All errors are gone. Yeah. 
Yes. How do you print array? Yes. For each. For each int element in X. Console dot write element plus blank space console dot write back. Yes. What is the parameter called? Params. And only one parameter is allowed in a method. Only one. You cannot have multiple params. But params parameter is such a method, it can work for zero or more parameters. Means even if I create a method with, uh, even if I call a method with zero parameters, No, zero, zero parameters also. Even if I call a method with no parameters, then also it is going to work with params now. Single parameter also works with what? The same method. That is the reason params parameter will allow to manage zero or more parameter method. Somewhere I, I wantedly write D dot show. Yes, no output. You'll get blank line because there is no data. Line. Yes, blank line. Because when this method is called, when when this method is called, there was no values. So for loop didn't work. Only console.writeLine has worked. That console.writeLine has left you with one blank line. You want to get message there? Try if x dot length equal to zero, console.writeLine. No parameter else get new line. Right now, you will get a message, no parameter. Yes, no parameters method. We added, instead of leaving it blank, I, I added that book. If you write one more method, one more method, show, but it is of double type. Yes, you can write. I said one method will have one param. I didn't say that. I didn't say that class will have one param. No, method will have one param. So if at all I give again a method like this. 9 .2, 5.3, 8.4. Now you should write one more method again. One more show method, which is of double parameter. Double, double array. Params double array. For each loop, print valid. So we have code reusability, no doubt. We have code, lot of, lot of code decrease already. 
see the difference writing five methods is different managing all five with one method is different obviously stronger will be params only but params is also now it is going lengthy because whenever i have a method of different types of parameters compulsory i should write another method with param of that array Params of that array. See the difference in working. Even to reduce this code also, even to reduce this code also, uh, they gave another topic in OOPs. I'll explain you. That is called generics. Next class, probably coming classes, I'll explain. Okay, this is how your method overloading works in session. And this role also same. Like if you have single, uh, if I write required parameter here, integer p. If I write, then rule param should be always at last in the list. Param same optional parameter rule. Same try integer y. It's error. Param is error. No? Yes. Put your cursor on there. Read the message. Param's parameter must be the last parameter in a former formal parameter list. You cannot write in the middle. You cannot write in the initial point. It should be always at last. We use two params, sir. Two? In the same method. No, 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 no. We can't use it's only one, one param. Okay. Hmm. No double. Param. Even if I use no, you get error. You see. Param double y error. That rule will apply. Param should yeah. be at always at last. See. Yeah. Param must be last parameter. So you are writing two params. So one is going beyond the rule. But solution is there because now, now if I have double, double then compulsory, there is no alternate. I have to write one more method now. Public void show param double array for each double element in x console dot write element plus blank space console dot write. Ah, uh, now now d dot show is ambiguous. No, no, because first method also works for zero or more parameters. Second also works for zero or more parameters. Now compiler is confused that to send this d dot show to which to which show ambiguous call.
that's it. If you have any questions to ask me, you can.